Welcome back to View Mastery's Intro to View course. This is lesson two, where we're focused on attribute binding. We'll start off with some live coding, then break down the concept, then end with a coding challenge. Let's get started. This is what our project currently looks like. As you can see, I have added a style sheet. If you want this style sheet or any code from this lesson, you can access it below the video. Speaking of styles, I've added this div with the class of navbar. That's for this gradient at the top here. And then I've also added this div with the class of product. So inside of here is gonna go a space for both our product image as well as our product's info. So first we'll create a div with a class of product image. Then inside of it, we'll put an image element. And this SRC is really what we're concerned about in this lesson. But we'll pause here and we'll create our div with a class of product info. So because our H1 is displaying product info, we'll put it inside here. Now we refresh and we have a space for our image as well as our info. All right, so we're gonna get an image to show up right here. Let's first add that image, and I'm pointing to an image that lives in my projects directory. You can access this image below this video, or you can use an image of your own. So we want this image data to be the contents of this SRC, and whenever that data changes, we want this SRC to update. A great solution for this is Views VBind Directive. What this will do is create a bond between the data and the attribute that we want it to be bound to. Hit refresh and the image is showing. It worked. Let's look at this even deeper. VBind dynamically binds an attribute to an expression. The attribute we're binding to is SRC and the expression is here in the quotes. So you can imagine VBind kind of like glue, binding the attribute to the expression. It might help if you envision it looking more like this. In our expression, we are saying image. Now, since this image is the same as this image down here, we're pulling in this data and it works. Our image displays on the page. If our image data were to change, let's say from green to blue, our SRC would receive that new value and our image would update. You'll find yourself using vbind a lot. Because it's so common, there's a shorthand for it. So instead of binding like this with a full vbind written out, you can just remove that and leave the colon. To get you thinking about what other attributes you can bind to, let's look at some examples. There's href, title, class, style, disabled, and of course more. For this lesson's challenge, add a link to your data object, then use vbind to bind that link to an anchor tag's href attribute. A link to the code playground is below. You can keep watching this series on YouTube, but if you want to track your progress and access other view courses, head on over to viewmastery.com. We release a new video every week. Plus, you can grab our free View Essentials cheat sheet. Thanks for watching.